everyone, a very warm welcome to Smile Kids channel. In this video, we're going to take a quiz on light part 2. But before that, subscribe to our channel, Smiley Kids. So let's get going. Question number 1. The transparent front part of the eye is called dash. The options are A. Cornea B. Retina C. Iris or D. Lens. Your time starts now. Your time is up and the right answer is option A, cornea. The transparent front part of the eye is called cornea. Question number 2. Which of the following statement is correct? The options are A. Cones are sensitive to bright light. B. Rods are sensitive to dim light. C. Cones sense color. Or D. All of these. Your time starts now. Your time is up and the right answer is option D, all of these. Cones are sensitive to bright light, rods are sensitive to dim light, cones sense color, all the statements are correct. Question number 3. What is the angle of incidence of the ray if the reflected ray is at an angle of 90 degrees to the incident ray? The options are A, 90, B, 30, C, 60, or D45. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is option D45. The angle of incidence is 45 degree of the ray if the reflected ray is at an angle of 90 degrees to the incident ray. Question number 4. In an image formed by a mirror, the left of the object appears on the right and the right appears on the left. This is known as dash. The options are A. Regular reflection B. Diffuse reflection C. Lateral inversion or D. Lateral confusion Your time starts now. Your time is up and the right answer is option C, lateral inversion. In an image formed by a mirror, the left of the object appears on the right and the right appears on the left. This is known as lateral inversion. Question number 5. At the junction of the optic nerve and the retina, there are no sensory cells, so no vision is possible. This is called the dash. The options are A. Night spot. B. Blind spot, C. Dark spot, or D. Bright spot. Your hand starts now. Your time is up and the right answer is option B. Blind spot. At the junction of the optic nerve and the retina, there are no sensory cells. So no vision is possible. This is called the blind spot. Question number 6. To make a kaleidoscope, we require dashed rectangular plane mirror strips. The options are A. 2 B. 3 C. 4 or D. 5. Your time starts now. Your time is up and the right answer is option B, 3. To make a kaleidoscope, we require three rectangular plane mirror strips. Question number 7. A night bird owl can see very well in the night but not during the day because it has on its retina dash. The options are A, 
more cones and more rods b more cones and few rods c few cones and few rods or d few cones and more rods your time starts now Your time is up and the right answer is option D few cones and more rods a night bird owl can see very well in the night but not during the day because it has on its retina few cones and more rods question number 8 impression on an image persists for about dash of a second on the retina your options are a 1 by 2 b 1 by 5 c 1 by 16 Or D one by nineteen. Your time starts now. Your time is up, and the right answer is option C one by sixteen. The impression on an image persists for about one by sixteen of a second on the retina. Question number nine. The dash is that part of an eye which gives it its distinctive color. The options are A. Retina, B. Cornea, C. Iris, or D. Pupil. Your answer starts now. Your time is up, and the right answer is option C, iris. The iris is that part of the eye which gives it its distinctive color. Question number ten. The image formed by a plane mirror is. The options are A, real, B, virtual, C, diminished, or D, none of these. Time starts now. Your time is up, and the right answer is option B, virtual. Image formed by plane mirror is virtual. Question number eleven. The lack of dash causes night blindness. The options are A, vitamin D, B, vitamin A, C, vitamin C, or D, vitamin B. Your time starts now. Your time is up, and the right answer is option B, vitamin A. The lack of vitamin A causes night blindness. Question number twelve. The kaleidoscope is based on the dash. The options are A, single reflection, B, no reflection, C, multiple reflection, or D, none of these. Your time starts now. Your time is up, and the right answer is option C, multiple reflections. Kaleidoscope is based on the concepts of multiple reflections. Question number thirteen: Which of the following is a luminous object? The options are A, sun; B, fire; C, electric lamp; or D, all of these. Your time starts now. Your time is up, and the right answer is option D. All of these, sun, fire, and electric lamps are luminous objects. Question number fourteen. The most comfortable distance at which one can read with a normal eye is about dash. The options are A. Ten centimeter, B. Fifteen centimeter, C. Twenty centimeter, 
or d25 centimeter. Your time starts now. Your time is up and the right answer is option D, 25 centimeter. The most comfortable distance at which one can read with a normal eye is about 25 centimeter. Question number 15. Periscope makes use of dash plane mirrors. The options are A, 2, B, 3, C, 0 or D, infinite. Your time starts now. Your time is up and the right answer is option A, 2. Periscope makes use of two plane mirrors. Hope you like this video. If you find this helpful, do like, share, comment and for all the more updates on all the learning needs, subscribe our channel Smiley Kids and click on the bell icon for all the updates. Thank you friends.